three smoke drop around the power core transition after the ground flare no freaking way warriors are in position as that smoke expires <laughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Skull Army and friends. Skull Crusher here. It is Wednesday, October the 28th, 2020. And yes, we are coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. This is the week of the Warrior. Warriors come out and play, Skull Army viewers. I've got a very, very intense Commodore Stronghold Commodore Solo to show you with the Warriors for anyone that did watch my come out and play warrior map clearing stream on Monday. I think I'll have it up over here. I'll try that where I'll point and you'll actually see the card there. Um, none of the less guys, it, it was insane. I wrapped up the live stream with a, a warrior attack on Stronghold's Commodore and little did I know that we would actually follow through with it. Remember Skull Army and friends, do not forget to leave a like on today's video. If you are new, trust me, you're gonna be digging this content, crush that subscribe button, ring that bell, and yes, stay notified for when I go live and upload awesome Boom Beach content. Look at that attacker bonus right now. Troop damage at 218%, troop health at 120%, and of course, my little baby, Gunboat Energy at plus 89%. That was full boosted on the troop damage and full boosted on the troop health. And once again, just so everybody has a good understanding of what I'm talking about, tribes are OP this week. I mean, Gunboat Energy and Warrior Damage. This is a match made in heaven. Only thing better than this two combination is Gunboat Energy with Zooka Damage. So if you have not boosted your Fire Spike Tribe already for the Warrior Damage, what are you waiting for? Get on it, guys. Take full advantage of it. I'm serious. You'd be surprised how savage these Warriors are. Now, going back to the operation here. This was from yesterday's Strongholds here. Full warriors, actually, that's a lie. One boat of Bombardier, and then seven boats of warriors with a bullet and taunt. Taunt was so key here, guys. We were able to fire one off. Let's do this, guys. We're going to dive on in. I'm going to walk you through and show you the replay for this absolute bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas solo. And of course, guys, we start things off very, very routinely. And when I'm soloing a base, whether if it's with Alzuka, whether if it's with Warrior, and trust me, very, very rarely is it with Warrior. So that's why I was super excited that we can actually showcase this attack right here. You're going to notice the one boat of Bombardier's farming on the far left there. We've actually got two barrages and a couple artillery coming out around the power core here. There was actually some key mines literally surrounding the left and right side of this power core. So the artillery and the mines were crucial to open it up for my warriors to take as little damage as possible for that transition to the power core. Now taking a look at these rocket launchers, these are going to be the first actual immediate threats for my Bombardier's farming away here. And they are just absolutely doing a great job here remember my friends this is a very standard tactic for operational attacking that is farming gunboat energy accumulating power cells and defenses crushing them getting that gunboat energy adding it to the bank and just giving you a little bit more to play with to secure the win now keep in mind as well borealis is a crab account so i technically do only have one gunboat energy we're rocking seven td with three th so it does make a difference so just like that guys the last of the bombardiers is locking on to the last of the power cell we actually made a little move up top here where we just got in range of that rocket launcher but luckily with the td that these meloneers meloneers the td that these bombardiers are packing three shots will take out a power cell for me so just like that guys we did manage to do a very very good farm job here we cleared out the surrounding mines around the power core now wait a moment here you're gonna notice a flare 
air landing to the far right side of the beach with warriors being deployed on the far left side of the beach, going back to the right side of the beach, then deploying Bullet. Keep in mind that warriors are super fast. Bullet, he's not keeping up with the warriors. So you definitely want to make sure that you keep your pace within reason. So it doesn't take long for those warriors to catch up the Bullet. And we've got a very, very far way to the power port here. So we want to transition that with the mid flare point, get Bullet, get the warriors together. We follow up with a ground flare in front of the power core here. Notice the gap right there. I started to stretch my gunboat energy to save it as best as I could. One smoke on the flare there. And then before we transition to the power core, there's a three smoke drop around the power core as well. Almost three circles overlapping each other, guys. You can do a smoke on the core with four to be absolutely perfect, three to stretch it, and two to save on gunboat energy and you will have warrior peakage but you can't do a two smoke drop on the core you're just gonna have warriors that will peak so that was a perfect three smoke drop there as a bullet reaches the transition ground flare we follow up to the power core here now this is where ship it gets real because we had 11 gunboat energy left we had enough for one taunt and one shock now as the smokes expire here we nailed the shock point on the six machine guns there if we actually make our way over to bullet that was such a clutch taunt right there because we did manage to pull in six boom cannons and one flame thrower that flame thrower would have done absolute savage damage to my warriors pay attention to the shock launcher here this bad boy will be firing in just a second here but we are locked on we are absolutely crushing it as the shock launcher fires you're gonna notice its shock radius completely traps down the warriors on the bottom of the power core which leaves my warriors on the left side literally about three four or five seconds to deal some significant damage before that shock expires pitting down those machine guns warriors on the left do an amazing job warriors on the bottom right completely pinned down as the shock on the machine gun expires the warriors fade away bullet the real mvp look at the warrior at the top right there doing his thing absolutely incredible boom goes the dynamite these warriors definitely came out to play now my friends what did you think of that one i'm serious leave a comment on today's video with your thoughts on the fire spike tribe with the warriors going back to captain borealis guys we're gonna watch that again times of four I mean, I, I feel like I can watch this hit over and over and over again. Everything came together, and when you are rocking it with a crab account, it is absolutely imperative that everything is a perfect here, even coming down to that stretched gunboat energy at the end there to just really, really ensure that I had enough gunboat energy for one shock point and bullets and taunt here. But the Bombardier farming away there. This is probably one of my favorite drops with the Warriors. Uh, flaring the opposite side back to the opposite side delay dropping or sorry dropping your warriors and then going back delay dropping bullet and just keeping up with everything beautiful transition to the power core bullets taunt a shock is cycled and these warriors definitely came out to play boom goes the dynamite school army and friends what did you think of that one i'm serious when i say leave a comment on today's live stream remember guys do not forget to smash that subscribe button ring that bell and yes stay notified for when i go live and upload awesome boom beach content do not forget to support a content creator and use code skull crusher in the in-game shop when making any purchases any diamonds any admiral keys essentially any in-game purchases school army and friends we will officially be wrapping up the video here i want to thank you all so much for the continued love and support of my youtube channel i would also like to announce that we are officially a hundred and 52 subscribers from 5k guys it is on the horizon we are on the home stretch road to 5k school army and friends we will officially be wrapping up the video i think it's time to make like a tom and cruise have a wonderful day everyone peace